Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur, and welcome back to Football Manager 20. Last episode, we played New York Athletic Club on the road and lost 1-0 after we conceded a penalty. In the next game, Thomas plays a long ball for Yazzie, and he recovers his own rebound to put Carolina Dynamo up. And then off the corner, Calderon. Montoya gets two gloves on it, but can't keep it out. In the 75th minute, we were able to take one back when Childers rips one for the top corner. But that was all she wrote. And that would prove to be our last game for Tobacco Road. We were sacked the next day, relieved of our position. And so it's the last day of the season. LAFC have won the title for the fourth time in a row, and we are back in the job market. But let's not forget, I have earned my National C license, so I'm thinking about giving myself a promotion and going for a big job, despite the struggles that we've had. And conveniently, Detroit City is without a manager, and have been for quite some time. I've been waiting for the job to be filled. But now that the season is over, I'm going to apply. So I did earn an interview with Detroit City. Let's attend that. Why have I only worked with a small selection of teams? I haven't felt the need to move. I've enjoyed everywhere I've worked. Why have I not been able to win a trophy? I've not been a head coach long enough to build a team capable of winning. This would be a big jump from your previous club. I feel I've earned the opportunity to work with a club of this stature. So work within the payroll budget and finish top half of the Central League. That seems acceptable. They want to know what kind of staff changes I would like to make. All of the staff is signed through next year. I suppose that's acceptable. And I've been approached by Detroit. We can start negotiations. Can I get a two-year deal? I'm willing to take a little bit of a pay cut. It's still a raise from my last job. One year, 48K. And there we go. I'm manager of Detroit City. Talk about failing upwards. All right, so that'll be it for a moment. I'm going to cut the video play through to the end of the month. Maybe we'll come back for a friendly. I'm not sure yet. But I need to see what's going on here. How we can improve the team. How the finances are doing. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. I've been in the job about three months now. We've made a few signings. Added to the coaching staff as well. And we played more than a few preseason games. So let's check on the status of that. Six preseason games in all. We lost 2-1 to one on the road to Madison and then beat our old team Michigan Bucks 2-0 at home. And both of those teams are in our division. But then we played four teams from the division above us and went 2-2. Two and two. We lost to Columbus 2-0 and then Fresno 2-1. But we beat Lansing and Pittsburgh. And today we're home in either the last day of the preseason or the first day of the season, depending on how much you value the cup. But we're home once again to Madison in the qualifying round for the U.S. Open Cup. So before we pick the lineup, let's take a quick look at the tactics we'll be using. I'm trying to play a more possession-based game than I have in my previous jobs. So we're still training the counter-attack, but it's meant to be a little bit more fluid than before. And we also have the control mentality. We're using the 4-5-1. And this isn't quite the press, but we're going to be knocking the ball about a lot more and trying to keep possession. 
And then finally we do have the press. Also the 451. And I'll mainly be using this only when behind, I believe. The division is somewhat polarized with good teams and poor teams. So we may find that against weaker sides we can use the press. Or I might prefer the control. I'm not sure yet. I'm also trying out a strategy to let my assistant pick the lineup more. But then I'm going to go in and clean up where maybe I disagree. So I agree with him for eight of the starts in the squad. But Jimenez is a new signing. He's not going to start right away. And Hayden is actually a center back by preference. So he's not going to start at right back. So Eddie Hayden is going to start at center back. And then at right back we're going to have Nate Benyon. He's played well in preseason. And Horde is good off the bench. He's a veteran who likes to play in a lot of different spots. So he's good to have. So despite new signing Arturo Jimenez Garcia, I'm going to start vice captain and defensive midfielder Javier Vargas. And I'm just hoping to check my thinking more against the assistant. And hopefully we won't hit the slumps that we've been in previously. From Keyword Stadium in Detroit, Michigan, it's 17 degrees Celsius. A beautiful day for early March in Michigan. A beautiful day for soccer. We play Madison forward. We are the underdogs. Despite being at home. Show me what you can do guys. Madison will kick it off. We're in the 4-4-2, playing the counter-attack. We did play Madison in the preseason on the road and lost 2-1. I believe they finished second each of the last three seasons or something like that. So they're one of the better sides in the division. Here's Bunkanlu. His cross is blocked. Out to Hume. There's Benyon to Vargas. Lee plays it long for Valencia. Malford right back up the pitch. Lee wins the header. Pauls makes a good run, but his shot is blocked and out for a throw. Vargas up to Hume. White now. He's already on the yellow. Takes it out wide. Good tackle there. And he's picked up an injury. All right, we don't want to go risking him long term. We don't really have a natural sub though. Savitsky is a forward, but he'll play well there. Let's go ahead and put him on attack. Get him farther up the pitch. Here's Vargas with the free kick to Lee. Header down to Valencia with his back to goal. Madison up the other way now. Stolen away by Savitsky. Tries to make the pass, can't get the cross in. Back on the ball now, and that's out for a corner. Thomas will take. Into the box, headed away by Pauls, only to Savitsky, and Platter clears. Into the 12th minute now, throw in for Madison. Bokonlu with the header in, easy stop for Herrera. Too many easy passes are being misplaced, says my assistant Webb. Otherwise, it's just Madison are getting open too often, which we already know that. There's Thomas on the ball, plays it up to Hume, too far. Back pass to Byers, that's a good clear. Only to Vargas though. Here's Hume to Valencia, and that shot is blocked and out for a corner. Here's Thomas again, into the box for Valencia. He can't get ahead to it. He will recover, but that's out for a throw. Into the 19th minute. Throw in for Detroit. 
Into the box for Hume. Valencia's shot is blocked. Easy save there by Myers. What are the passes looking like? 81%. That's not too bad at all. One shot on target each. Still nil-nil. Offside here by Valencia. Morton with the free kick. Up for Platter. Does his spin. Takes the touch and he's offside. Here's Zandy into the box. Good stop there by Herrera. Vargas with the free kick. Just wide of the post. And Benyon with the throw in. To Zandy. Into the box. Platter. Out to Balkanlu. Into Platter. And his header is over the bar. Good opportunity there. Wasted. 27th minute. Throw in for Balkanlu. To Banshot. Herrera. Good possession here for Madison. Herrera again. Walford. Herrera plays it up for Lockerbie. He's got a little bit of space. Can't get the cross in. Paul's instead. Fan shot. Back to Herrera. Lockerbie in. Lee heads away. Offside. Rendon with the throw in to Valencia. Rendon again and Hume's header is over the bar. I have to say it feels like a pretty close game right now. Passes are looking even. We have more completed though. Tackles are even. Headers are pretty even. That extra shot on target though. Madison has been the better team by a hair. And Zandy here can't test the keeper. Herrera. Played long for Thomas. He looks to find the pass. Has to lay it back to Rendon. Hayden. Is stolen away by Platter here. Good opportunity. And his shot is wide. No, blocked. Out for a corner. Zandy again. Into the box for Pauls. Headed away by Lee. Vargas will get on it. I feel like maybe I should move Vargas into a little bit more of a support role. Pat Pass in here for Valencia is offside. So Vargas, you're doing fine, but how about more ball winning support? Let's look at the attributes or the ratings and see how we're making out. Thomas is playing poor. Valencia is playing poor. Benyon is playing poor. Could be worse though. That shot is pushed wide by Herrera. Only five minutes of the first half remaining here. Zandy into the box. Thomas manages to head it away. Hand shot shot is blocked, I believe, by Rendon. Vargas picks up a yellow. Two minutes of stoppage time here in the first half. Hand shot plays it into Archer. This is a good opportunity, but that's over the bar. Goal kick. And that's the first half. 52% possession for Detroit City, but shots on target are 3-1 to one for Madison. So I feel like we need to do more with the possession that we have. Go out there and grab that goal that's going to win this for us. The good thing about playing a more possession-based style is that more players get involved in the attack. So we've had some goals from defense where that never was a thing before. I'm going to move Thomas into attack as well. He's done, he's played very good in the preseason when in a more attacking role. Has a few assists. I don't think I'm prepared to do anything else for now. Let's start the second half. Here's Benyon. Back to Herrera. And that's out for a throw in. I'm wondering if maybe I should do something like shoot on sight to get a few more chances. There's Bulkanlu with the throw in. Into the box again. Lee heads away. Zandy. And he slips it in the far post. 1 0 to Madison. 52nd minute. 
It's a decent play here. Throw in by Balkanlu. The give and go. And then the nice cross. Lee can only head it so far. And Zandi does well to collect himself. Herrera gets the fingertip, but not quite enough. And now I think I need to do something. So let's take the tactics and shoot on sight. We can also run at the fence. 57th minute now. It's begin to rain a little as well. Here's Falcon Lou. Has space on the wing. Platter can't win the header. And Zandi puts it wide this time. You're giving a lot of room to work out there on the wings though. That's not ideal. Hume collects the pass nicely. Plays it up to Valencia. He lays it off for Vargas. And he can't test the keeper. Just wide of the net. He's Rendon again into Valencia. Rendon into the box for Hume, and he puts it past the keeper. Byers gets both hands on it, but was practically in the net already, and Hume makes it one-to-one. -one. Almost a carbon copy of Madison's goal, to be fair. Good ball here in by Rendon, and Hume doesn't need the knockdown. He wins the header. So shots on target are now four to three, looking a little bit more even. We're still winning in the passing game, and we have three more block shots as well, which tells me that we have been more defensively minded. So the game is really on a knife's edge now. Archer can't get his head on it, and that's out for a goal kick. Here's Herrera, plays it long. Madison win it again, and they're right back down our throat. Herrera to Pauls. Lays it off for Lockerbie. Pauls again. His shot is blocked. Lockerbie. Benyon has to head it away. Zandy collects. And that's going to be out for a goal kick. Looks like maybe it's time for a sub. I imagine we have to be getting somewhat fatigued. Hayden clears the header. Savitsky is our most fatigued, but he's already come on as a sub. Benyon could come off, or we also have Vargas and Thomas, our two central midfielders. I think it might be time for Jimenez to come on. Benyon heads away here, but the flag is up. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to take Vargas over here. We can put Thomas on a more defensive role this time. And instead, we'll take Vargas out for Jimenez. Here's Rendon up to Thomas. Rendon again. So we used two of our subs already. Still 22 minutes left of normal time. Valencia offside. We got the sub in. Here's Hume. Tries to test the keeper and Byers does well to bring it down. He plays it long to Zandi. There's space out there on the wing again. And Bayon can tip it out. No penalty kick. It's a bit harsh, I have to say. In a cup game, 20 minutes left. The score is even. And this very well could be the winner from Platter. Indeed, he buries it in the bottom left corner. And it's 2-1 to one Madison. So simple penalty here, but gets the job done for sure. Almost unstoppable from Herrera. Lee out to Linden now. I'm hesitant to take Benyon off because he has given away the penalty but he would have been the most obvious sub before that so I'm going to go ahead and put Ford on he is our veteran hopefully he'll calm things down and we're going to need to change the tactics a little bit too let's get out and defend there on the wing and a little bit more direct passing and we can go balanced as well so 79th minute now, Ward plays it long for Valencia, back to Thomas, 
And that's up for Thomas. He's got space. No free kick here offside. Morton plays it up to Platter, whose goal is the difference right now. Lemoyne gives the ball away, and Rendon will send it back to Herrera. And that's straight up to Thomas, but intercepted by Lockerbie. And Madison, once again, come the other way. Here's Herrera, gives it to Zandi. Zandi may, may be player of the game, in my opinion, so far. This is deflected out for Madison throw. Eight minutes of normal time left. We need to start taking some chances here. Down by a goal. It is the cup. Nothing to lose. Pauls plays it up to Platter. He lays it back for Lemoyne. Maybe now would be a good time just to get the press on. Can we do anything about these tactics? Probably not. We don't have the right players in. We can at least go more attacking. So 86 minute. Corner here for Madison. Headed away by Jimenez. Back in the Zandi. Hand shot with a little bit of space. Zandi on the ball and Pauls puts it wide. Five minutes of added time. That's plenty for us to get one back. Here's Zandi into our end though and Herrera has to make a good stop. We need to get a little bit more possession down the other end if we're going to even the score. Zavitsky just plays it long for Valencia. No support though and Balkan Lou steals it away. Here's Lee though. Plays it up for Thomas. He's going to get on the end of this. Into the box for Valencia, but his finish is way over the bar. 90 seconds left. Into the box here. Byers is able to grab it easily. And he'll punt it up to Zandi. Tackle here from Rendon. Well done. And Thomas plays it up for Zavitsky. He's got a little bit of space. And Byers has to push it wide. Thomas into the box. Lee's on the end of this one. He can't make the pass. Lemoyne brings it up the other way. Only needs to hold possession here. Takes it towards the corner and then into the box. That's going to be out for a goal kick. That's probably the game though. Herrera. Up to Rendon and out for a throw. So Madison have been the better team, not by too much. I feel like it's been an even game. If not for the penalty call, really could have gone either way. But we don't deserve to win. And there's the final whistle. Seven shots on target to five for Madison. 52% possession for Detroit. We need to learn to make a little bit better of the time that we have on the ball. It was just one of those days. And so that's it. We're out of the cup without making the first proper round. And White is out for two to three days. So that's good news. We were missing one of our best players for most of the match. And in two days, we play Madison again in the first game of the league. But I'm thinking instead we're going to come back for either Houston or Texas United towards the end of the month. See how we're doing. I mentioned earlier that the league is very polarized. We are projected to finish fourth. And I have to feel anything worse than fifth would be abject failure. But we'll see where we end up. For now, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been Football Manager 20. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. And have a good night. For the moment, we're in food danger, but that won't last too long. It's not going to go well for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Here's Maddox, and he puts that just inside the far post. Either that, or we'll set off some more aliens. But either way, we can. And that's job done.